What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here doing another Hot Toys action figure review on the Justice League theatrical cut movie masterpiece MMS 466 Superman 16 scale collectible figure. If you're trying to get your Hot Toys, you can do so at Big Big Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And while you're down there, I ask you to please hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. We're almost at the 600,000 subscribers. Subscribers. Big contest coming to the channel soon, and I swear I am not trolling my viewers by covering this theatrical cut Superman figure. This is actually my favorite design of Cavill's Superman, so I wanted to talk about this figure. I've had it for a little while now. Nice image right here, and I like how we have the blue foil right there where it says Superman, and you can see that Superman wraps around the cover to the side right there, and then on the back it says you can't save the world alone with all their different logos. And then on the side it says Superman right there, wraps around again, Superman, and then it says just Justice League, they could lift this up and you could see that we get the accessories in there. I've obviously opened it, I've had this for a while, and then on the back you can see all the people responsible for creating the figure, including <laughs> And then you get a nice blue and white S right there, and then on that side it says Superman, and not much else as far as the packaging goes, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. <laughs> here's Superman out of the packaging in all of his blue and red glory. I will discuss the things that I like and the things that I don't like about this figure, but first let's get a closer look at the accessories. So the figure comes with two head sculpts and we get the little batteries, which you can see right here, and then we get these four sets of hands. You get fisted hands, relaxed hands, uh, the flat flying hands, and then you get these wide open hands right here. You get extra wrist pegs in case you break any, and this awesome display base. I think this looks so sick. I haven't seen a display base with a Hot Toys figure that I've really liked this much in quite some time. I really love the plaque right over here. It reminds me of the scene with the, the whole Justice League or the rest of the Justice League fighting Superman, but I think it may be from another scene. But regardless, I really like the texturing right over here. And you can see some brown paint mixed in right here with the gray. So it's adding some rust on this whole hinge. But And it's a faux hinge. You can't lift it up or anything. But yeah, I really like how this came out. Even underneath right over here. That looks pretty cool too. So I'm really pleased with that. Just looks dope. And then you get this dynamic posing stand right here with the flexible uh, posability and a soft felted clamp with spring-loaded action. <laughs> My Cavill, this is an exceptional head sculpt. I am so pleased with this thing. I mean, it looks dead on Henry Cavill over here. It's creepy. I had such a great time taking pictures of this thing. It looks just like a man. I am creeped out by it. And that eye, I mean, both of the eyes look absolutely stunning. But yeah, the paint, the sculpt on this, it, I can't give any uh, recommendations on how to make it better or anything I'd like to see that I'm not seeing here. I mean, it's just astounding how well this is made. I really dig it. Oh, I guess you know what one problem I do have with it is that he doesn't have that weird puffy upper lip thing like we saw in the Joss Whedon version. So yeah, maybe they could have, you know, made the upper lip look all weird and everything to make it more film accurate. There you go. That's my, that's my fake complaint. I, I just like this thing how it is. The hair looks great and everything. I mean, looking at the side of the head, the sideburns, all the details on this are just quite exceptional. I'm loving this thing. But we do get the alternate head sculpt, which I want to look at. They just pop this off. And then here's the inside of the alternate head sculpt. And you can see that we have the on and off button right there for the light up feature. I'm going to leave it off just for now. And when we put this on right here, you can see how dope this looks even without the light up feature going. That's one thing I really like about figures that have light up features that they make it so that you don't have to utilize the light up feature to enjoy it. And I think that's awesome with this one. I mean, it looks terrifying just the way it is. Look at all that detail around the eyes, like that you're seeing above the eyebrow and below the eye sockets. Oh, man, that's freaky. Someone was looking at you like this, I would probably shark my pants. Yeah, I definitely would. It, it would it would be gross and terrifying all at the same time. But yeah, again, the hair sculpt is looking pretty much the same and everything. So it's really, you know, the whole face right here. God, the teeth look pretty good and everything. Those front two teeth look like they're sunk a little bit more downward than they should. But anyway, uh, it's a minor gripe. Anyway, you can lift this up right here, turn it on, and boom, that light up feature is 
dope. Oh, I'm really digging it. I guess I am kind of noticing right now that the right eye is a little bit cockeyed, you know? Like, right eye is looking at Wonder Woman, left eye is looking at the Flash, I guess. This eye that he was looking at the Flash with, so it's this eye kind of slowly turning over. I mean, regardless which cut, that was an amazing scene. Probably one of my favorite scenes out of both cuts. So, gotta give Zack Snyder props for that, because there, there was some epic stuff going on. And I did want to show off the light-up feature and different lighting settings on my review station, just so you could see how bright the light inside that head actually is. You can see the Adam's apple in there a little bit, nice skin texturing and all that, so that's pretty sweet. Um, you know, just design, I wish we had the yellow symbol right over here. Very long cape, uh, no bendy wire in it. I would have liked to have had bendy wire, get some nice little, you know, wrinkles and creases in it, but it's fairly long. It goes all the way down to the bottom of his feet, and that's just the design of this figure. You can see this big old ugly zipper right over here just to get that out of the way. But looking at the suit right here, oh, I love this. This is my favorite one. I love this bright, saturated blue and red that we're seeing throughout over here. This looks so dope. That metallic look throughout on the whole figure. It's, it's just awesome, man. I love it. Love the big old shoulders right here. You can see those meaty muscles popping through. I really dig that. Um, I do have this little thing right over here, it's super, super tiny, where it looks like a little bit of the symbol came off, but I never dropped this or anything, it came like that, and if I did drop it, it would have taken off uh, some of the texturing right here that's sticking out the most, but that's more inward right there, so I don't know if it's like that on all of the copies. If you have this, please let me know, but man... The texturing and textiles on this are just spectacular. You can see the muscles popping through the suit and everything. The baby blue metallic color right here looks great. I'm really liking that right over here. Um, yeah, I do get a little bit of this cuff running into the hands, so that gets a little bit wrinkly right there can get a little bit in the way, so that bothers me a little bit. The detail on the hands are absolutely fantastic. They all have nice paint detail and sculpted veins and stuff on there. He's got big old meaty Superman thighs right there. Damn, again, that metallic blue, and especially mixed with the gold right there. That looks great. Really happy with this, man. Ah, it looks so freaking awesome. Love this suit. This is my favorite Cavill suit, so I'm just very pleased with it. If you don't like it, you can just, you know, Photoshop it to be a uh, black and silver instead. Anyway. Anyway, I swear I'm not trying to troll you guys. Anyway, on the bottom of the feet, you get this nice texturing right over here. And then again, looking at the back of the figure, looks great. There's your cavil butt, and then there's your cavil zipper. Uh, something I forgot to mention is I do think the arms should be just a little bit longer. No, shouldn't the hands come down a little bit more closer to the mid-thigh? I could be wrong about that. But anyway, with the light-up feature head sculpt, the articulation is a little bit more limited than the other version. Uh, the head will only tilt just upward that much, if anything, and down just a little bit. You get side to side motion of course and a decent amount of uh, not even that great head pivot right over there so it is a bit limited and then switching this out the regular head sculpt has a lot more range of movement especially looking upward you can see that you want that with the superman figure and he can look down very far as well and you can get the head turning side to side and you do get good head pivoting right here as well unfortunately we don't have butterfly joints that move in and out on the figure i would like to have that however they'll move out just that far again it'd be nice to get him into a t-pose but it's not going to work one thing that i was surprised though or one thing that really surprised me and i like to take the hands off before i do this because you don't want it to accidentally grab the cuff and then cause a problem so i take the hands off and i could rotate these shoulders all the way up and have his arms over his head so i was able to get him into flying poses and i thought i may have damaged something or done something wrong and it's everything is looking fine to me so i don't have any problems with the suit or any of that stuff it's working out just fine however i'm not going to keep him in that kind of pose for more than five minutes at a time you know what i'm saying but anyway uh, you do get a bicep swivel up here and then you get the single jointed elbow that meets a little bit more than 90 degrees and then the wrists are on a pin ball joint where it can move it up and down or if you configure it sideways you can have it move horizontally you get a diaphragm joint right here that turns side to side you get some good diaphragm pivot a little bit of ab crunch forward ab crunch back you also get a waist joint with the swivel unfortunately no pivoting at the waist but it will crunch forward at the waist so with both joints he'll crunch forward that much and with both waist and diaphragm joints he'll bend back that far you can get the legs moving outward quite a bit i'm not going to stretch more than that i could start seeing through the suit a little bit and that's scary i'm going to go ahead and move the thighs upward just that much and 
bend back a little bit. You do get an upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, which work out great. And then you get these ankles, which are a little funky. Uh, they do turn side to side. They will move up a little bit and they will move down. Usually when I move them downwards, they'll pop off on me and I could feel it, which is always kind of scary, but not the worst thing in the world because it does pop back on and it does have beautiful ankle pivot. And to measure out this Superman figure, you can see that he is standing at around the 13 inch mark, fairly large hot toy. And then for a Hot Toys Henry Cavill figure comparison, we have the Justice League Superman right here and the Man of Steel Superman right here. Thank you so much. I think I'm ready to let this guy go though. I, when I see these two side by side, holy crap, I like this one so much more. Not a bad figure over here, it's just, I think it's just overall better. Probably going to be selling this guy unless the person who sent it to me wants it back. And for another Hot Toys Superman figure comparison, you can see our Henry Cavill version next to the Christopher Reeves version right over there. And man, I really love having the smaller cape. It's just so much more suiting. I wish we had a smaller cape for this Superman as well. And big thanks again to Sean Long for this guy. Love this figure. Unfortunately, the S symbol right here has a little bit of cracking in the yellow. It makes me sad. And then to throw in Wonder Woman and Batman over here to make our DC Trinity. Happy Easter, by the way. Uh, we have the Wonder Woman movie Hot Toys figure right here and then here is the dawn of justice batman figure and these scale okay i'm used to seeing superman being taller than everybody else but all three of these look like they stand at about the same height it's cool I just don't want Superman being the shortest. And then here's the new Superman figure next to the Mesco 112 Collective Man of Steel Superman. Then here's our Justice League Superman next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Deadass Spider-Man. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to show some love by hitting that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as a notification bell. And a big thank you to all these people over here that support this content and help make these videos keep on coming to the channel. If you are in a position to do so and you're interested, check it out, link below, or hit that join button. This figure is a lot of fun. I really like it. I've had this figure for quite some time. I know I'm babbling right now, but for real, I really do like it a lot. It's an awesome piece. I thought, hey, now's a good time to talk about this figure, right? Would have been better a little bit earlier, but still, I really like this figure a lot. It's badass. I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, I don't really have that many complaints. You know, the detail on uh, the logo on the chest, the lack of articulation with the light up feature is a little bothersome. Uh, the thing with the boots, like those are minor gripes, really not huge complaints. I really do like this figure a lot. I think it's incredibly badass. I think it's the best Hot Toys Superman figure out there, even better than the Christopher Reeves one because of the articulation and stuff, you know? So anyway, at the price point of around 300 bucks, I'm going to give this Justice League Superman figure a sud rating of... <laughs> <laughs> and I'd like to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comments section below. Are you going to get the black and silver version? I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm really happy with this one right over here. And plus, it's kind of weird not having a blue and red Superman with the complete Justice League team. I mean, was anybody else bothered by that? But anyway, let me know. If you want to see the latest in action figure news, you can find it all over at toynewsi.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me via social media, you can find me over on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Hey, I'm sure this Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.